Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to find the area of a triangle with given these three vertices as you can see in this given diagram. So the very first step we want to do is and as you can see I have used three different colors for each uh, these vertices and their coordinates. I did that one to make things easier for my students. So the very first thing I want to do is I want you to just call this one the very first one x1, y1. I want to call this second vertex x2, y2 and the third vertex or th this coordinates I'm going to call it x3 and y3. And in this step, I have put these vertices from horizontal position to a vertical position. That's going to help us a lot in finding the area of the triangle. So we did the same thing, horizontal, and that converted into a vertical position. And likewise, this one horizontal, and this is a vertical position. Position. And here's the area of the triangle formula that we will be using. And if even if you don't want to use this formula, I'll show you another easy way that even you don't need this formula. So see how I'm going to do that one. And finally, now we're going to be finding the area of the triangle by just filling out this box. And by the way, this you see these two vertical lines. This box is closely related to a matrix. And we call this one a determinant. So this uh, box is called determinant. So let's go ahead and fill out the values over here, the entries in this box. And here I have filled out these numbers. As you can see, these red numbers showed up in two columns, over here and over here as well. And this blue right up here just once and this green just once on the right hand side. So the next step is I want you to just put, look at these numbers two and three. I want you to put a minus sign in between, always minus sign in between these numbers, minus sign and minus sign. So far so good. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing. So this is equal to the area equals to a half times. Let's go ahead and take care of this thing. Two minus three is negative one. And then see right now we have a two negatives sign next to each other. Negative and negative makes positive. 2 plus 3 makes 5. And over here likewise negative and negative next to each other makes a positive. So this becomes 4 plus 1 is 5 and this is 1. And now we're going to find the value of this determinant by using this fact over here as you can see. When you have a determinant which has A, B, and C, D, then you just simply crisscross. You multiply across, okay? So it becomes A times D minus B times C. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I want you to cross multiply this way. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. And right after that one, I want you to put always put a minus sign and then go the other way around. 5 times 5 is 25 and that makes negative 26. So we figured out the value of this determinant turns out to be negative 26. So let's go ahead and take care of that one. So that's going to be 1 over 2 times negative 26 equal to negative 13. 
and always remember when area is always positive even if it is a negative sign you must make it a positive thus the area of the triangle turns out to be a positive 13 square units and once again the area is always positive thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos